Hello everybody and welcome back to The Walking Dead. Last time we started off in episode 4 and it's already gotten pretty heavy. At the moment we're just taking a breather and we've been asked to just make sure that the bottom half of this house that we've taken refuge in is safe. So Lee is just going to have a look around while everyone else kind of does their own thing. And for the most part, there's really not going to be anything of use here. Hope we never get desperate enough for food that this starts looking appetizing. There's some dog food, which I guess, as Lee says, he's not desperate enough to eat yet. But the cupboards and the cabinets are all empty. There's no power. I don't think the water's on either. Nothing. Water's off. Pretty, uh, desolate. I mean, if we're stumbling into this house probably three or four months into the apocalypse, I wouldn't imagine that there would be much left, but it's still worth looking around. So we're just gonna check all the doors, all the closets, all the cupboards, just make sure there's no stragglers or no walkers or anything. Jesus! What? What happened? It's nothing. Just, uh, nothing. Lee's just feeling a little jumpy. It's alright, Lee. It's just a mop. Nothing's gonna happen. Yeah, you can see Omid's resting up. Uh, Krista's obviously probably pretty worried about him. Maybe we should talk to her. See how she's feeling. Uh, maybe see if we can offer her some encouraging words or something. Hey, guys. How's the house looking? Not done searching the first floor yet, but so far, so good. Finding this house was a hell of a stroke of luck. I like it a lot better when we know for sure it's safe. I'll make sure, but right now it feels like just the break we needed. Maybe our luck's starting to turn around. I'd like to believe that. Really, I would. How's that couch treating you, Omid? Leg feeling better yet? I'm all right. Feel you. Well, he's still conscious. Sit tight. I'll keep checking the first floor to make sure it's safe. Thanks, Lee. That's good. And Krista's just gonna watch him. I wonder how Clementine's doing. Holding up okay? I hope this house is safe. Have you checked all the rooms to make sure? No, but I'll take care of it. I think we only have to check these closets that are in front of us, and that's it. Oh, it makes me sad to see the big family portrait up there. Because those people probably aren't alive anymore. Not many living people left. All clear in here. And hopefully when we're finished checking this last one, we'll get some good news from Kenny and uh, Ben. They went upstairs to have a look around. That's the last room. Looks like downstairs is secure. Well, place ain't got much. We should be okay here for a while. At least until it quiets down outside. Good. Thanks. Is he okay? Yeah, I know. But I'm really worried his leg might have gotten infected. Don't suppose you turned up any meds while you were poking around? No, just some dog food. I was just asking Clementine if she knows who the man on her radio is. It's okay, honey. You can tell us. Who is he? What does he want? It's okay, Clementine. Go ahead, Clem. It's okay. You're not in any trouble. It's just a friend. I don't think he wants to hurt us. What has he been saying to you? What have you been saying to him? I told him I was trying to find my parents and that they were in Savannah. He really seems nice. I think he wants to help me find them. Clementine, honey, trust me, that's not what he wants. He... Lee? 
Lee, you need to get up here now. What's wrong? It's Kenny. Oh boy. What do you mean, it's Kenny? Kenny said he thought he heard something up there. Went to go look. He's up there? I can't get him to come down. Stay here. Well, I guess I have to deal with Clementine later. If Kenny's in trouble, we really want to make sure that we help him out. Kenny? What's up, buddy? Kenny, you okay, man? Oh, Jesus. What the hell is that? Oh, my God. <laughs> Kinda looks like duck. Nothing on him. Guess he must have been hiding out up here. Starved to death. Jesus Christ. I don't know if I can, Lee. Couldn't do it before. Can't do it now. You don't have to, Kenny. I can't I'll do it. This man. I'll take care of it. Like I did before. Are you sure? I guess we'll find out. I think Kenny's already damaged enough and I think he's just struggling to keep together I, I don't want to impose this on him you know so yeah it looks like maybe it was that kid in the uh, the picture maybe the parents abandoned him oh, or they went out and never came back Damn. but that's just sad just ran out of food like we almost did like we still might what a way to live. What a way to die. It's hard for me to imagine as a grown woman dying alone in a situation like this, but I mean, a little kid. He must have tried to hide out up here until he starved to death. This could have been Clementine if I hadn't found her when I did. I mean, the poor thing can't even attack us if it wanted to. It was so much skin and bone that it broke its leg when it tried to move, so we better just put it out of its misery. Poor thing. It doesn't even have the strength to attack us, you know. It probably wants to eat us like a walker would, but you can see him, like, crawl, uh, you know, clawing at our leg and it's just doing nothing. Jeez. Lee didn't even need to put much effort into that little stomp either. We should bury him. I'll take care of it. It kind of loses its emotional depth once you've seen it a few times, but I remember the first time I, uh, I saw that scene, I just felt so, so sorry for Kenny, and it just reminded me again of, you know, what we went through with Duck, and like Lee said, I mean, that could have been Clementine if he hadn't uh, stumbled upon her, you know, and I know it's a walker, but it, again, it makes you uh, remember that they were human once too, you know, people, and even kids like this who don't die of a zombie bite, you know, everyone's got the virus and they'll die and reanimate eventually. And I think back in episode three, Lee was saying that there was no time to give a duck a proper burial, so I think maybe that's why Kenny is maybe so intent on giving this little guy some peace and giving him a proper burial. I think maybe he's 
projecting those feelings of not being able to do that with his own son onto this little guy here. But we'll bury him with his his dog. Makes you wonder what happened to the parents. Oh, Clementine looks so sad. Someone's got to do it, and it always ends up being Lee. It's hard for all of us, I think. Their expressions say it all, even though there's no words. All right, one more. Was definitely, definitely a person. Standing there by the fence, watching us. A walker? No, too fast. Took off like a bat out of hell when I spotted him. Was it a man or a woman? Didn't get a good enough look. What does it matter? I'm wondering if it's the same guy who's been following us. The guy on the radio. I think it probably could be. It would make sense. Jimmy, I'm fine. I just. I'm fine. Or it could have been the What's person the ringing the bells. Lee saw someone watching us from outside the gate. What? Who? I can't be sure. They ran off before I could get a good look. I don't like this one bit. Not one bit. Me either. Walkers are one thing, but the thought of someone out there actually stalking us. All right, that's it. We've stuck around here long enough. It's time to get back on track. Time to get down to the river and find ourselves a boat. I don't know if Omid's well enough to move yet. Well, he better get ready, because I'm going down to River Street right now to find a boat. And as soon as she's ready to go, we're moving out. I'm with Kenny. The sooner we get the hell out of here, the better. Well, then hell, what are we waiting for? I'll go get my stuff. No, Ben, you'll only slow us down. Lee and I can go scout the river while the rest of you get ready to move out. You stay behind with Krista and Omid. Wait, can't I come? My mom and dad can't be far now. Maybe we can look for them on the way to the river. Oh, baby girl. Clem, honey, I, I think it'd be best if you stayed here with Ben. I need you to watch out for Omid and Krista. Help them get ready to move out. You said I'm supposed to always stay close to you. I know, it it's just this once. Sometimes we all have to put aside what we want for the good of the group. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back before you know it, okay? Okay. Daylight's burning. Gonna go grab my gear, then we'll head out. Come on, Clem. Let's go see if Omid needs anything. I do feel bad leaving her behind. So, you're just gonna leave me on the bench here? A and I do feel bad leaving Ben behind a little bit, you know, but... Uh, Kenny has a point. He does tend to just get in the way. I need you to stay here. Keep an eye on him. He's got Krista for that. If it comes down to it, I can't rely on Krista to do what has to be done. Not with Clementine in the same house. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You can count on me. Good. I'm sure Ben's really eager to make up to the group after what he did. And I'm sure he does feel really, really guilty about it. But I think scouting is better done with less people. You know what I mean? Not always wise to split up, but you don't want your whole group in one place in case something happens. There's nothing left of this town, that's for sure. It doesn't look good. It's probably going to be a little bit awkward between these two. I don't imagine Kenny's in much of a uh, talking mood. 
He just wants to focus on the task at hand. Hey, uh, so you want to talk about it? About what? About what happened back there in the attic. No. You sure, man? I mean, river's right up ahead. It's those bells Son again. Of a bitch, that bastard's fucking with us again. It's another trap. No, listen. That's not the same bell as before. This one's further off. Whatever it is, it's gonna get the dead moving over there. Hey, that could work to our advantage. What in the hell is going on? I don't know if that was on purpose or not, but hey, it helps us out majorly. Maybe whoever's ringing that is just trying to distract us, create a diversion. Whatever, man. I find whoever's doing that, I'll ring their motherfucking bell for them. Good one. Calm down, Kenny. It's okay. Let's keep moving. They haven't seen us. Let's just focus on the task. Still nothing moving behind us. I think we're... We're fucked? Is that what you were gonna say? There's gotta be a boat. There's gotta be. Man, I don't think so. This wasn't a, a, a really good plan to begin with. This far into the apocalypse, surely somebody would have fought to get on a boat, but damn. That sucks. This one might still be salvageable. Seriously? You got a better fucking idea? I'll check it out. You look further along the waterfront. Maybe there's something at the other end. I don't think we should split up too far. We don't have to. See that telescope? You can see all the way along the waterfront from right here. See what you can find. Okay. Kenny, usually you're a pretty sensible guy, and I totally understand that you're just kind of desperately reaching at straws, but that boat is fucked. But I I don't want to argue with him about it. I guess for now, we'll just give him some space. We'll let him have a look at the boat. And we're going to have a look in this new area that we've come to now that it's nice and quiet and we don't have to worry about the dead. Oh, it's really funny. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I just noticed on my, uh, on the corner of my screen, right there in the middle of my crosshair, there's actually just like a standing zombie in place. I've never noticed that before. That's actually kind of funny. I don't know if that's an error, but in any case, we could assume the zombies are gone and we'll have the next little while to ourselves. Thank you all so very much for watching and I hope that I will see you next time.